Today we're taking a look at yet another Gerald Genta homage. However, this is not an integrated bracelet. This is an homage to the Universal Geneve Pole Router, one of his first or his first design. So this is actually a little bit scaled up from that original model, but it does have a very interesting movement, much like that original pole router. So let's flip the camera and take a look at an homage to a very early Gerald Genta design. Back in 1954, Gerald Genta's first design was the pole router from Universal Geneve. And today we're taking a look at an homage to that watch. Now I would say that the pole router is actually a kind of unknown Gerald Genta design. However, it's rapidly becoming a very popular watch. And that's because Gerald Genta has designed many watches that are extremely popular. So people are looking at their catalog and now we're seeing homages pop up of the watches that weren't as popular as the Royal Oak and maybe the Patek Philippe Nautilus. So here is a pole router homage. And this is from a brand called Charles Barrett, B-E-R-R-E-T. And essentially this is an upscaled pole router. They've used a really nice movement in here. I really love the movement in here. We'll get back to that in just a second. The dial is essentially an upscaled version of the pole router. So you do have those crosshairs, just go through the center of the dial. You have basically the same shaped date window. However, it's in a different position because this is a larger watch. The date window is on the inside of the silver hour track. So it does have a texture on the hour track and you have applied indices as well. The hands are a little bit different. Uh, they're very nice on here, but they are a little bit different. Uh, I think the pole router hands were a little bit wider, more like a sword hand or a dagger hand. And this gets an onyx porcelain dial, which I think looks really good. Again, a departure from that original design. It's an homage, and I would say it's a direct homage to that original watch. However, there are a few elements that are different, especially when we're talking about the size. Also, when you look at the sides of the case, they did something here that I really like. They put sort of scalloped areas, their cutouts. This is a stainless steel case, but it looks really nice. It's kind of curvy. I, I, I like this. I like the design here. So it's not just a straight forward case. They did a really good job with that as well. You get a sign crown and then probably my favorite part of the watch, even though I do like the dial, is the movement. This is a G100 from Le Joux Pere. You're getting a tungsten rotor, 68 hours of power reserve. It's based on a Miona movement, but it is made by Le Joux Pere, so it is a Swiss made movement. Just a really good looking movement. And this comes in at a pretty good price. You have a leather strap on here, which is in black and red, which I think looks really good. And then you have a milled buckle that is not signed. So I don't know if a uh, production version of this will have a signed buckle, but this one does not. One other thing, so you do get a sapphire crystal on the front and back, and they etched the logos very lightly into the sapphire crystal. I'm not sure why they did that. Uh, it's something you will probably never notice and you would have to get a loop to actually see, but they did it. I'm sure it costs some money for them to do it, but there you go. Uh, and then it just says automatic, very similar to the pole router. It just says automatic down at the bottom of the dial. This is a black onyx dial. It's actually very glossy, as you can see. Uh, there is anti-reflective coating and anti-fingerprint coating on the sapphire crystal. I do want to mention that as well. It says Charles Barrett at the top as well at the top of the dial right below that applied logo. So this comes in just about 39 millimeters. So it's 38.8, 38.7, depending on where you grab it on the case. The crown on here is just about 5.2 millimeters. The lug to lug is 46.4 millimeters and the thickness is 10.4 millimeters. That's including both sapphire crystals. On wrist today, I have my latest purchase. This is an IWC GST perpetual calendar chronograph in titanium with a moon phase and digital date display. Uh, this is a watch that I just recently purchased. I made a video about it. Check that video out. I will put a link up above. Uh, a very, very complicated watch at a very, very good price. Well, there it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. It's a 39 millimeter watch, just about a 39 millimeter watch. It's thin, so it wears very, very nicely on my wrist. Obviously, the original pole router was smaller, so they have upscaled this slightly, 
and that's why uh, it does wear like a modern watch, I would say, not like a vintage watch. So this definitely feels and looks like a modern watch. However, you get a little bit of a vintage vibe from that dial. I would say this is more of a modernized pole router in a very modern sized case. Well, there you go. The price on this is around $860. That's the price as of making this video. I think that's actually a very good price considering the movement inside considering you're getting a porcelain dial, which is not easy to do. And then of course there's some layering to that dial. You have that outer track, which I think looks really good. And of course the design of the case also really nice. It's completely polished, but the uh, bezel, the uh, flanks on the side, this all looks very, very sort of original, uh, even though it is an homage to the pole router. So there you go. Uh, really cool watch and a very classic looking dress watch. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of the Gerald Genta design? Uh, and what do you think of what they've done here? Sort of made a direct homage to a specific watch. However, put a little bit of their own design cue into it. Uh, I think it works really well. I think this definitely comes together as a package very, very well. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. I will put a link to their website down in the description. If you are interested, definitely check out their website. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. I will catch you guys in the next video.